I literally don't write SQL anymore. Like, seriously. I'm a data scientist. My name is Matt Dancho. I've been doing data science for 14 years. And I do have a confession. I never liked writing SQL. I like getting data and then using programming languages like Python or R to analyze it. Well, I'm going to show you today exactly what I'm doing now to avoid completely writing SQL. In fact, I don't even need to write code for data visualizations either because I'm showing off a brand new multi-agent that is an AI I built that actually makes and writes SQL code and writes visualization code and allows me to interact with a database vi visually. Basically, like I don't have to, <laughs> literally, I don't have to write any code anymore. So check this out. Here's an example. Let me prove this to you. So we're going to make three different charts today. Here's one of the charts, and this is a donut a plot of the top five sales territories. And this is the SQL code that the AI wrote for me to build to build this visualization. So this is the data that it produced. Literally, like I do, I do not have to write anything anymore. So let's get, to get started here. Let me show you how to do this. So what we're going to be covering today is I'm going to expose you first to a new AI data science team of co-pilots. So I'll introduce you to that here in a second so you can actually install the software that I use and I've been building in order to make these AI agents. I'm gonna introduce you to a new AI co-pilot or an AI agent that actually automates the SQL data analysis. Now this is a multi-agent, this is something brand new. And I've previously done a video on how to get AI to write SQL for you, but this is gonna do, this is gonna take that another step further. So what we're actually building today here, let me scroll up and I wanna show you guys what we're building today. So this is a multi-agent. Okay, and it's got a SQL database agent in it. And then if a visualization is needed, we're going to have this agent then build a visualization for us. So it's pretty cool. Again, I'll explain that all here in a second. Very cool stuff though. We're actually gonna run the SQL data, uh, an, uh, the SQL data analyst agent on the Northwind database. So this is a database that I have here. It's a SQLite database. It's got a bunch of tables in it. It's actually kind of complex. And I'm going to show you how you can ha uh, actually have the AI write SQL for you, make visualizations for you, do all sorts of kind of common business intelligence things for you. All right, so uh, first things first, I wanna, let's go to the project repo. That's this thing here. This is for my AI data science team. We've got a new logo, it's pretty cool. I actually made that in like 10 seconds with AI. But the goal here with this AI data science team that I've been developing is to be able to help you 10x your data science tasks, 10x to 100x, and I'm giving you an, a whole AI data, data science team, an army of AI agents that you can basically pull off the shelf as needed and put them right into your data analysis process. So anything that you don't like doing, all the boring stuff, anything like SQL for me, I don't like SQL, so I'm gonna use an AI agent to automate that for me. If you don't like data cleaning, we have a data cleaning agent. If you don't have like feature engineering, I have a feature engineering agent. Any of the stuff that you find boring, you can use AI to help you do it more efficiently. All right. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to check this out. This is the README. This is the AI data science team that I'm building. If you can see here, I've got a bunch of agents that I've built and I'm by no means done. This is a work in progress. This is the new multi-agent. So this is the one that we're going to be working on today. And then soon I'm going to be showing you guys how to integrate these AI agents into apps. That's a big request that I've been getting from you guys on YouTube. And uh, a lot of, a lot of people have been asking about that. So um, to get this thing started, make sure you uh, head over to the repo. You're going to install the software. Um, make sure you star our repo. This really helps spread the word. Um, we're about 30 days in. Uh, so I've only been, been um, I think the first commit was like, or the first release was, um, uh, I want to say the 13th of December. Yeah, December 13th. So we're about 30 days in and we already have 555 GitHub stars. This is the fastest growing package that I've ever been involved in. So make sure you give it a star, get the word out, and let, others, let other people know that you're enjoying this package. All right, so let's get back to it. The multi-agent that we're gonna be building today. So I'm gonna take us through this little introduction. We're going to install some, or you're gonna install the software. So in order to do that, you're gonna do pip install, and you're gonna just run this line of code here. That'll get you the latest version of the AI data, data science team installed on your computer. All right, the next thing, we're gonna use these packages. So these are kind of the ones that we always use for AI. So we're gonna be using a little bit of Langchain. We're gonna be using chat open AI. If you don't like open AI, I'm gonna be putting another video together on how to use Olama 
and any other agents that you are interested in, any providers. So just let me know, comment in the notes, in the video notes, if you have a specific provider that you want me to showcase in a tutorial, and I'm happy to do so. The other libraries that we're loading up, we've got Pandas, we've got SQL Alchemy, because we are gonna be integrating with databases, OS, YAML, that's for me to load my API keys. You'll see here then uh, the two, probably that you aren't familiar with, is the AI data science team. We're gonna from the multi-agents module, we're gonna import the SQL data analyst. Again, brand new agent, super excited to show that off for you today. And then what that integrates is these other two sub-agents. So these are from the AI data science teams, the dot agents module. You're gonna pull in your SQL database agent. I've already done a tutorial on that. I'll kind of showcase what that does here in a minute. And then the data visualization agent. All right, so once you have those loaded in, we got some other st stuff for setup. We're gonna set our path route to this folder here. That's the 008 multi-agent SQL data analyst folder. This is AI tip number eight. You can see I've got seven other ones in here. So when you sign up for my AI tips newsletter, which I highly recommend you do, you get access to all of this code that I'm about to show you here and, and all the other AI tip codes here. So you can actually pull that in. Um, and you can clone, clone that repo. So, all right. We, we are now ready for the database setup. So I'm gonna run this code in order to set up our database. So I've got my path loaded, I've got my database. This connects to this Northwind database here. And I'm going to next move on to setting up the LLM. Again, what I'm gonna be doing is using OpenAI. So you're gonna put your OpenAI API key in right here. So let me make that a little wider so you can see it. And what I run is, because I don't want you guys to see my OpenAI key, it's actually stored in a credentials file. And you, you won't run this. What you'll do is you put your OpenAI API key in here, okay? We're gonna set logging to true. So this is gonna log our AI functions. So the data visualization function that AI writes for us is gonna be right here. The SQL database function is gonna be right here. I'll show, show you guys those here in a second. And then the model that we're gonna be using, I'm gonna be using GPT-40 Mini. It's a super affordable model. It's very fast and that's offered by chat GP or offered by OpenAI, okay? All right, so I loaded all that stuff in here. Next thing I'm gonna do is showcase how to build the SQL data analyst. This is the fun part. This is the exciting part. So I put a ton of work in here and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be combining a SQL database agent and a data visualization agent in the SQL data analyst, all right? So let's run the code here, and then I'm just gonna show you, oops, let's try that one more time. Shift and enter, make sure to caps lock off. There we go. So I ran this code here, and what this does is this instantiates this SQL data analyst, okay? So let me just show you what it does. So we've got this SQL data analyst. Let me do the dot show method on this. And what it does is it combines a SQL database agent and then optionally, it'll route to a data visualization agent if a, the user requests a plot, okay? If the user just wants to know like, you know, have the database return a data frame, a table, or, you know, understand like what tables exist, then it'll bypass that data visualization agent. But if you want a visualization, you can start asking you, you can question your database and say, what are the you know, top five sales territories? And it'll return that now. So that's the, the real value of the SQL data analyst. It takes our SQL copilot or our SQL agent one step further, all right? And if you wanna see like what's inside of each of these, if you do this x ray equals one, so this is what is inside each one of these SQL database agents. It's actually, this is why I call it a multi-agent because what you're seeing right here is kind of how they're all connected up but the internals here is what's going on. So when the SQL agent gets queried, it's gonna go through these steps here. And then once it finishes that, it's gonna get kicked out to the main workflow. And then if a visualization is requested, it's gonna go to the data visualization agent. And these are all the steps that that agent's gonna go through, okay? So pretty cool. All right, let's enough talking. Let's actually try this stuff out. So we're gonna start off with a super easy question. I run this and we're just asking what tables are in the database, okay? So it's already done, and what I can do now is use these methods. So get the data from the SQL database. These are all the tables that are in the database. Pretty cool. If I wanna see what code was written, I can do write this method here, get SQL query markdown true. This is the SQL code that it made. And then if I wanna actually see what the SQL function that was created, this is the thing that's gonna go in here in the SQL database.py if you have logging set to true. Um, and you can see that this 
is identical to this. Okay. All right. Very cool. So now that you know a little bit more, let's move on to some charting. All right. And this is what's really powerful. So once we start integrating these into applications, this is where we can really start to do some, like make some really powerful, like streamlit apps that run the, this agent. All right. So here's one that we're going to sh uh, showcase. I'm going to make a donut chart. So let me run this. And because we're asking uh, to make a donut chart of sales revenue by territory for the top five territories, a typical like business intelligence style of question, what it's going to do is it's going to recognize that a donut chart is being requested and it's going to call upon the data visualization agent. So in, in addition to doing the SQL kind of data wrangling or data manipulation, we're also going to have a visualization and you can see it's already done. So let's check out what the query code was that the SQL agent created. So that's this thing right here looks like and let's do this we'll do sql data analyst dot get i want to do the uh let's do code get the sql not the sql query oh function i need the function data visualization function i'm going to set mark down and equal to true this is the data visualization function that was created and all of these are now stored right over here because i logged them in my ai functions and i can get the plot okay so this is what the plot looks like top five sales rev sales territories re uh, sales revenue by territory for the top five and you can see we've got it's completely reproducible we've got all of the information that we need in order to be able to double check the ai's work and also get the result which is this plot here all right very cool let's take it one step further let's do a time series plot so this requires a little bit more data wrangling so I'm, what i want to do is i want to get a plot of sales revenue by month by territory now. And I also am telling it to make a drop down for the user to select the territory. That's a plotting request. So the agent needs to understand, okay, for the plot, we now have a special request here. Instead of doing this, we need to have a drop down. All right, looks like it's done. Let's check out the SQL query code. This is what it looks like. Now we've got this little year month that we're aggregating by and we're storing that as the month column. We can get the data SQL, so this is the result. So once we run and execute this query on our database, it returns this. Okay, I got the year month, so far so good. And then let's check out the graph. All right, so that graph looks a little weird, but once I start selecting the specific territories, it actually looks perfect. So you can see here that this is a time series that's returned, a time series plot. And you can see you get, when you hover across it, the month and then also the total revenue for that month. And you get it by, by territory with a dropdown. Cool, so definitely check this thing out. I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. It is, again, the, the newest agent that's part of my AI data science team, so definitely check that out. If you do wanna go a little bit further, highly recommend as a next steps, check out the AI data science team. Let me know what you want. You can add GitHub, a GitHub issue if you have a special request, or you can put that in the video notes. I'm happy to take on those. If you wanna go even farther and you want to start building your own AI that using generative AI and combining that with data science, I do actually have a entire boot camp. It's brand new that I put together. These are the eight weeks that are involved in it. So week one, we have a kickoff plus local LLM training plus AI fast track. Week two, you're going to learn RAG. Week three, business intelligence. Uh, and you're going to actually make a business intelligence AI co-pilot. Week four, customer analytics in a multi-agent workflow. Week five, time series. Week six is deployment, where we're going to start deploying with AWS. Week seven, fine tuning and RAG deployments with AWS, Bedrock. And week eight, you're actually going to learn how to dockerize your entire application with EC2, Nginx, and put your LLM application, your LLM data science application into production. So if you want to uh, learn more, there's a link to that. I'll also include the link in the video notes for my eight-week boot camp. All right, until uh, next time, we got a lot more coming. So uh, definitely get ready. The project roadmap is insane for this AI data science team, and I'm super excited. So join the newsletter. Make sure you uh, give that GitHub repo a star and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon. All right, bye-bye.